So we're here with the hi-hat and we're going to play a very basic rock groove and I'm sure you've heard this groove before uh, in all sorts of songs but um, I think it's important if you, even if you have played this groove before on a, on a drum set you should definitely maybe start playing this groove if you're playing it with the cajon um, and the hi-hat here uh, because you're not going to be using your foot for the bass drum you're going to be using your hand for the bass tone so this is the groove one two three four Very simple. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention is I have my hi hat on my left side. Um, that's how I have it set up on my drum set. Um, so I just that's where I put it. Um, and I'm right handed, so I'm cross sticking here. So if I was playing like a regular kind of set, I'd be playing like this. Um, if you are left handed and you want to play with your left hand on the hi hat, going like this maybe. then that's cool. Um, if you feel like you want to stick on the uh, left side here, maybe you want to try doing that. If uh, you want to move it to the right side, go for that too, if it feels comfortable. Whatever feels comfortable is what you should do. Uh, as long as you're not straining yourself or causing yourself an injury, uh, do what's comfortable for you. Um, so I'm going to teach it like this, but fool around if you're left-handed and, uh, and see what works. So let's break the groove down. Um, and on the hi-hat, we've just got the regular hi-hat chip um, with our foot on the pedal at all times. We don't want it off the pedal or else it's going to sound like heavy metal, um, which is totally cool, but we'll get into that in a bit. Um, so we're just playing the eighth notes with our hi-hat. One and two and three and four and one and two. And that's just going to go like that throughout the groove, um, almost like a machine. So with the left hand, we're playing the bass tone and the high slap tone. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So you put it together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So um, it gets a bit monotonous, but uh, if you haven't really used the hi-hat before with the cajon, I definitely would practice this technique. Um, I uh, still practice basic patterns and techniques just to keep myself kind of feeling like I can play a solid groove um, uh, and stick to a tempo. So it's, it's not a bad thing to do, even if you're advanced. Um, so... Let's try playing it together at a kind of slow tempo. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and Let's try playing that a little faster. One, 
and two and three and four and... <laughs>